Oh, Luke Wright is back with another episode for you at Luke Wright. Excellent! <laughs> what are we going to talk about today? We've got that gorgeous view out there at Dartmoor. We've got horses. Don't know if you could see them. We've actually got horses out there. Or ponies, as they're Whoa. called. <laughs> Look at that. They're just grazing and chilling on the Dartmoor grass and fields. So what are we going to talk about today, uh, Luke Wright? Oh, it's something that I'm sure is in the back of a lot of our heads at the moment. With what the news and the mainstream media keep talking about in Britain, British news, uh, British mainstream media, You're is with the more right. bad news and the more they talk about the coronavirus, after everything that we've been through with COVID-19, are we going to be back to the first national full lockdown of the country. Is there going to be another full lockdown? Oh my fucking god! No! And it's a good question. Let's talk about that on Luke Wright and what our opinions are really, because I get the feeling with the way things are going at the moment, it is probably going to go down like that. But let's talk about it first. Uh, ah! But god, for God forbid, I really do hope that we don't go back to the first national lockdown because not enough has been done to try and turn the tide of this virus, which the virus is real, you know, because people have been infected in hospital, have made vlogs about it or videos about what happened to them, and they really did get infected. So the virus really does exist. Don't think that it doesn't because at the end of the day, it does. All right, well, let's hit the road, folks, and let's go. That is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. Go ride on that 60s super bike. Here on the intro, wee! It's showtime. Cheers, yeah, bang, bangs, and cheers, bangs. Oh yes! Oh, Luke rides out here with his ZX10R super bike. <laughs> Kawasaki super bike, naughty super bike. Someone is seducing our top agents. As you can see, she's a master of disguise. We've already lost 007 and 008. Well then, Basil, this looks like a case for. Oh, as we pray, as we prayed, <laughs> I did not say pray, I sure did, but I don't know why I said that. <laughs> uh, we are riding through the luscious, glorious, beautiful dark, what the fuck? Devil, oh, behind! <laughs> Bang, jizz, Dartmoor, and it is, uh, oh, it's just so nice out here. We even got the horsey horsies, the pony ponies. Oh. Even the pony ponies are out today. They're dealing with us. Dealing with dealing. Ah, oh, it's just nice to get some freedom. Oh, freedom, I tell you. Lovely freedom. So, what are we vlogging here today? Well, with all the talk from the British news, from social media. And also the announcements made by the Prime Minister himself. It sounds like this coronavirus, the COVID-19 virus, is spreading like fucking wildfire. And is getting, is infecting lots of innocent people at the moment. And infection rates are, they're just, they're just on the way up. They're not stopping. They're still climbing. And they're still, just nothing is changing. Oh, sorry. I need to sort out something. Ah, it won't take me a... Hopefully it won't take me a second. Uh, back into gear on a ZX-10 Superbike. Oh, oh, noise. Oh, I did what? Oh, oh, I was not even trying. Talk and power. All in abundance. It's very scary. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, right in the jizz. Oh, bang! 
Oh, the Jesus, Jesus, super bag. <laughs> oh, I guess the, the real question is, isn't it, folks? Do you think that there is going to be another full national lockdown? Because it is a thought in all of our heads at the moment. Uh-oh. It is a thought. What? Hello? Hello, little fuck me, they've got horns. <laughs> I mean, there are lots of males there. <laughs> they look, they look feisty. Like they want to cause some trouble. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. Ah, I think. Ah, oh, cheers. Thank you. Ah, oh, the gorgeous dark moor. But it is a thought in the back of all of our heads. After everything that we've been through in 2020, all the stress, all the hassle, all the shit. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh behave. Oh yeah. After the first national full lockdown of the UK and Britain, I'm being told by Mr. by Mr. Boris Johnson. Or oh, oh. our Prime Minister and being told by Parliament that that's it, every British citizen needs to stay home. Being patient to fight this virus and see if a full lockdown was going to turn the tide. And do you know what, folks? The thing is, is that the full lockdown was turning the tide. It was hard. It was hard for all business owners as well, knowing that they literally are not able to do any business and you know how bad is that not being able to do any business and try and earn an income and try and survive like you're not allowed to do that you're just allowed to to hopefully you'll maybe pay your bills and if you can't well it's not doesn't we don't really give a shit what happens to you if you lose lose your roof over your head or lose your car or lose your motorcycle we don't fucking care Bite my shiny metal ass! And that is the problem. You know, government doesn't really care what happens to us as individuals. We are just literally numbers on their machines. We are just a number. When we are born and we reach a certain age, every British citizen is given a national insurance number, which is like a barcode. We are a barcode. We're not human beings, we're barcodes. And that's sad, isn't it? That is very, very sad. Ooh. Naughties. Hello? Uh, hello? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> but that's it, we are just numbers. And I think the government is seeing us pretty much numbers. So do I think that there is going to be another national lockdown? I think it's it's getting it's getting to the point of everyone. It's inevitability. It feels like we really are going to have a national lockdown. Not possibly this month, but in October, strict November. If these numbers keep climbing, and we get still more negative news and not and bad news about the coronavirus and more infections. I mean, the government will be forced to have to go down that path. And do you know what? That is pretty shit. It's pretty sad, isn't it? It's pretty shitty sad. We're screwed. Ooh. Oh, bang, bang, bang. I'm going to use the torque and power of the ZX Tonar Superbike to let me get, literally get me out of here. Oh, jizz bang. Naughties. Get ready. First gear. Oh, to the ZX and all this is nothing. She is just crossing, crossing the grass like it isn't even there. She's like, what grass? What grass is this? Oh, just go over it. Oh, oh, yeah, it is bang. What? Oh, bang, is. Only super bikes sound like that. Oh. Oh, oh dear, look at this for a twisty. Very fuck shit. Fuck! What? Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh, oh the 
Good job with the rear brake. Controller. Controller. Holy fucking shit! Oh my god! Oh fuck! What? Wow! <laughs> Deeper bikes! Oh my god! And that's the thing, folks. After everything we've talked about, at the rate that the country is going, I suspect that a second full lockdown of the entire country of Britain is a possibility guys I think it could really happen let's hope that it doesn't but we can only see as more time goes on what the outcome of this virus is going to be and will we even be able to rid ourselves of this virus by 2020 it's a tricky one and you know to think to yourself this virus the coronavirus has come all the way from China and spread across the world yet China manufactures most things that we have nowadays and yet China is the one that's infected the planet and spread the virus across the world it was created in China on Chinese soil which makes it a Chinese virus that's the thing and that's not racist or anything that's like saying if a disease if a disease or originated from Britain and it, and it originated from Britain, came from Britain, well, it's a British virus. That's not racist, that's the truth. That's the truth. That's where it came from. Race has nothing to do with it. So, continue watching. I'll keep you posted on how it's happening out there, everyone at Luke Rides. And let's hope that this virus will die soon because I know that I want to get rid of it too. And we want the world to be better again and no more of this goddamn virus because that is all 2020 as it stands is going to be remembered for the, the year of the coronavirus and that's it that's it that's that's the only thing in the world that's happened in 2020 oh fucking shit all right well, i'll see you next time in the next episode of luke Christ, and thanks for watching everyone on luke Christ, mate of the year <laughs> Hey, you got motorcycles? Huh? Hello, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, that was fucking random. <laughs> Let's go. The way we. The little rascal has spirit. That's awesome. This is the end of the trail for me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, kid. Oh, 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 oh,